Hello everyone, welcome back to the Cat Guide channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a golf ball on Onshape. Alright, let's begin. So first we're going to go to the front plane by either pressing front on this icon over here or by going to the front option over here, pressing right click and pressing view normal to. Now we're going to create a new sketch by either pressing on the sketch option over here or by pressing shift S on our keyboard. Now we're going to choose the front plane as our sketch plane. Now we're going to go to this icon. It might be on three point arc, but I want you guys to go to the drop down and choose the center point arc option. Now you're going to draw the center point arc from the center of the front plane. Draw the circle up. Make sure this line is right in the center and it's not like this or it's not like this. Now left click and bring the uh, arc all the way down to the x-axis. Now we're going to take our dimension tool by either pressing on D on our keyboard or by pressing this icon over here. And we're going to extend this and give this a value of this. Not 0.0, .0 we're going to give it a value of 0.866142 inches. You guys can copy this down quickly. 0.866142 inches. Now we're going to draw another center point arc. This time it's going to be from here. So we're going to take this. We're going to make extend the circle, make sure it's at the middle. And we're going to extend the arc all the way down to uh, make sure it's 180 degrees. Now we're going to take the dimension tool again by either pressing D on our keyboard or by choosing this dimension tool. And we're going to give this a value of this. You guys can copy it down. 0.0787402 it might register at 0 0.079 but that's fine just for precision you guys can write this because we're trying to go as precise as possible and enter now we're going to take the line option which you can do by pressing l on our keyboard or choosing this initial first option and we're going to connect each and every one of these dots so first this dot to this dot then this dot to this one this to this and this to this like that and now we can choose the check mark as we're done with the sketch. So now we're going to choose the revolve option, which we can do by pressing shift W or by pressing this option. We're going to choose these two faces to be revolved. So this uh, beneath the not, the, not the top one, but the one under and this big one. And we're going to, for the revolve axis, we're going to choose the line we drew in the middle like this and check mark because we're done. Now your initial sketch that we drew might be hidden. So we're going to again press on this little eye icon to make it reappear. Now what you're going to want to do is press shift W or choose the revolve option again. And you're going to choose the stop uh, half, the stop quarter of the circle. And now you're going to right click on this plane. You're going to choose select other and choose face of sketch. To repeat, right click, select other and face of sketch. And now for the revolve axis, you're going to choose this, you know, you see the center line right below we drew, you're going to choose that. And you're going to choose the remove, not add new or intersect, but remove so that the groove is formed. Check mark. Now, as you guys can see, it should be formed right here. Now to give the, now to give the fillet of the groove, we're going to choose this fillet option which we can do by pressing shift F on our keyboard or by choosing this option. And we're going to choose the edge of the groove like this, not the middle, but the edge. And we're going to give it a value of this, which is 0 0.00787402 inches. You guys can type it in and enter. Now first to make our lives easier, instead of drawing the grooves everywhere, we're going to copy these grooves all the way down and then all the way around. So first what we're going to do is choose this option, which is the linear pattern option. We're going to go to the drop down menu and choose curve pattern. Now you're going to make this into feature pattern, not part pattern, but feature pattern. And you're going to choose the center and the fillet. Choose on path to pattern along pattern along and choose this line. And for instance count, we're going to make it seven and check mark. Now all of these should appear. 
Now we need to make them go all around, right? So first we're going to go back to this drop down menu of the curve pattern and we're going to choose circular pattern this time. We're going to choose, uh, we're going to make this face pattern instead of feature. Now we're going to make it face pattern. And again, you're going to choose the center and the fillet. And for the axis of pattern, you're going to choose this line. The instance count is going to change as we go down. So follow along. So now for the first one, we're going to do six and enter. Now again, circular pattern, make this face pattern, choose the fillet and the inside portion. For the axis of pattern, you're going to choose this line. And for the instance count this time, it's going to be 12. Again, circular pattern, face pattern, choose the inside and the fillet. For the axis of pattern, the center line. And you're going to make the instance count this time 18. Again. Circular pattern, make this face pattern, choose the inside and the fillet. For the axis of pattern, you're going to choose this line. And you're going to make it this time 21 instances. Two more times. Come on, guys. So we're going to go circular pattern. We're going to make this face pattern. Choose the center and the fillet. Choose the axis of pattern as the center line. And this time the instance count is going to be 24. And for the last one, circular pattern, face pattern, choose the center and the fillet. Axis of pattern is the center line and the instance count is 27. All right. Now we can remove this initial sketch that we drew by pressing on the eye icon again. And as you guys can see, we basically have the top portion, top half of our golf ball. Now, instead of doing the whole process again we can make our life simpler by using the mirror tool so if we come up to our toolbar right next to the circular pattern or the linear pattern option you're going to see this mirror option press click on the mirror option and for the entities to be mirrored instead of choosing each and every one we can directly choose the part one because it's the whole part so you're going to choose part one click on mirror plane and, the, and our mirror plane is going to be this Wait for it to load in and it should be on the other side like this. Now what we can do to remove the front back and uh, to remove all the planes, we can press P on our keyboard. So now it's just our golf ball and golf balls aren't usually blue. So in order to change the color, what we can do is go to part one, right click, press on edit appearance and you guys can choose whichever color you feel might be appropriate or put in a code but I feel this color is good enough for me and enter. All right, there we have it guys. This is the tutorial on how to make a golf ball on Onshape. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.